Hello, I'm Dom. I'm going to be teaching you how to draw Danny Brown today. Danny Brown specifically from the, you know what I'm saying, era. Not to be confused with Danny Brown from Atrocity Exhibition, or Triple X, or even old. This is a new Danny Brown. This is the current Danny Brown. Danny Brown with the new teeth. Danny Brown with the short hair, like mine. Here's what I use to draw. I use Photoshop, Adobe, 2019, Creative Cloud. I use a Wacom Cintiq. It's okay if you don't have one, if you can't afford one, that's okay. Draw with whatever tools you want to use. I use a Twix candy bar, okay? You need one of those. You need a coaster. You need one of these skull heads. Before you start drawing, you need one very, very important thing. You need a motif. Now, I am operating under the assumption that you know how to draw someone's head and hands. You don't need to know how to draw that well. All you need to know is your motif. That's the biggest core element of what we're drawing today. Because I'm not interested in teaching you how to draw stuff realistically. I'm not interested in that shit. No. 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 You want that shit? Go to another channel, okay? We're drawing interesting stuff, okay? We're drawing powerful, expressive, strange things. This is what's going to help your illustration or drawing or animation or whatever really pop and come out and be something unique. So, how do you find a motif? You think about the album, you think about Danny Brown, you think about what makes you like him, what makes you like his music, the production, whatever he chose on this album. I'll give you some examples before I tell you what I chose for mine. Some examples are the fact that this album cover was very much inspired by Richard Pryor's album, That Nigger's Crazy. All right, he took the colors from that album and he used that motif to create this album cover for you know what I'm saying. You might take the fact that he has three heads, three heads going this way on the album cover. You could take that and make a three-headed Cerberus of Danny Brown. You could do that. You could take the fact that he's using these weird David Byrne talking ahead outfits and then use that in your drawing. Single out what is interesting and take that thing and you're going to drive it home. What I chose for mine is Witcher. The Witcher. Geralt of Rivia. You know what I'm talking about? In the first song, Change Up, he says, listen here, little Witcher, several times. So that's what I chose. And we're going to start the drawing right now. I already had the motif in my head, so I worked from a pose. What you're going to need is a reference of Danny Brown and perhaps another pose. I suggest you get maybe two or three images of Danny Brown. Have these references match whatever it is you're drawing. If your reference relies heavily on his likeness or his eyes, his mouth, his nose, whatever, make sure that's in your reference. If it needs his hands or his shoulders or his body type, make sure that's in your reference. For this one, I used an image of Geralt of Rivia, the one and only albino white Polish guy who uh, somehow speaks with an American accent, and The Witcher, from The Witcher Wild Hunt. And I immediately started merging Danny Brown with The Witcher, merging Danny Brown with ideas of Geralt. What does Geralt have? Two swords, he has albino hair, he has white hair, he has um, the steel sword that he uses to fight humans. So I got a pose, I got a pose of Geralt, holding the swords, and I used Danny Brown's likeness, smashed them together, just like that. Snapped them together. That's what you see me doing right now. I moved very quickly through this thing. This thing took me probably about an hour. You shouldn't have to spend that much time on your drawing though. If you wanna spend five minutes, that's fine. Focus on the motif, that's my advice to you. Don't focus on the likeness being perfect. It's good to have a good likeness, but for me, for the purposes of this drawing, for the purposes of our drawing class, and this fine drawing institution, the motif is king. The motif and intention is king, okay? Part of my motif was also taking Dirty Laundry, taking his outfit from Dirty Laundry. He's like running around like taxi driver, except he has this big fro and uh, he has the goatee, which is kind of similar to Geralt's goatee. And that was, that kind of it, made it easy for me to just jump in and merge those two. So bright yellow against the blue background, and it's really that simple, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get a likeness, you get the motif. That's how you make the drawing. You get the motif, and then you merge all of your past drawing experience with that motif, you smash them together. Now, if you are interested in making good likenesses, you're gonna have to do your figure drawing every day. That's the only way. Do your figure drawing at least for 30 minutes a day for about 10 years, and then you'll be able to make a good likeness on the fly or very quickly. You'll build up your library inside of your head for how things should look. Got a cool little white outline on there. And uh, I was very happy with how this drawing came out. I think it came out pretty cool. He's looking kind of fierce in this. Danny Brown is ready to take on the fucking uh, 
uh, sorceresses and succubi and incubi and what else? What other uh, supernatural creatures do they have? Cockroaches. Evil politicians. Drowners. What else is in The Witcher? Slugs. This Friday, I'm going to be drawing live on Twitch and YouTube. Wherever it is you can find streaming, I'm going to be there. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be drawing live. And if you want information on how to see that, how to chat with me, watch me draw for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, look in the show notes below for information on that. Hope to see you there. This Friday night. This Friday night. Be social. Be there. Before we get to the final, final, final version of this image in all of its resplendent Witcher glory. I want to shout out It's Just Fundi. Fundi who sent in his drawing of Blood Orange from last week. He did a fantastic, fantastic job on his drawing of Blood Orange and Fundi will be sending you a gift in the mail, a little Valley of the Summoning card, which is very special and will give you instructions and a little gift for next time you submit something. And if you want a Valley of the Summoning card, if you want to be gifted and part of this group, of amazing artists who we are creating on DSC, all you gotta do is send your drawing in to ask at domrabbin.com. That's where you will submit your drawing. Submit your drawing there, and then we'll have you cataloged and we'll be able to send you your drawing directly on there. Feel free to send it on IG or Twitter or all that other stuff. You can send it on YouTube, wh wherever you find me. But just know that if you send it to ask at domrabbin.com, that's how we'll be able to correspond with you and send you your gift in the mail. Here's the final drawing in all its glory. We have the albino Danny Brown, the furrowed brow, a little bit of hatching on the brow on his cheekbone a little bit for the lighting. I definitely did move very fast through, his, through this. It has kind of a Colonel Sanders feeling to it, I think, but like a strong, sensual, aggressive, strong Colonel Sanders. Did I say strong two times? Before we get out of here, do me a favor. There's a link to this image below on Twitter, please shoot me a like. And if you're really, really generous, shoot me a retweet on there. Help me spread this image, help this thing grow a little bit. I want this community to grow a lot larger so that we can share these drawings and grow a lot more. And don't forget to send your drawings in. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for being here with me, creating art, getting out there, making something creative. Good luck on your quest to draw Danny Brown or whatever it is you wanna draw. Don't forget, think about motif, do your life drawing. That's all I got to say. Okay, goodbye.